some of these storms could produce an isolated, quick, brief spin-up tornado, especially closer to the Wisconsin border and into the north woods of Wisconsin. But these aren't going to be the tornadoes where you can take a picture of them. They are going to be wrapped in rain and they are going to be brief. Heavy rain and widespread rain continues on into Thursday night and into the overnight hours on Thursday. Here's the cold front going on through early Friday morning. Behind this cold front, we're looking for clouds and rain showers and windy conditions as well for the daytime on Friday. And then Friday night, we start to clear things out from west to east. Here's our in-house computer model with the rain. We are looking at the heavier rain, central and western UP on the order of maybe one to two inches of rain, but there could be some locally higher amounts. Amounts do drop off as you head east of Marquette. As we look at your temperature forecast for the daytime on Thursday, highs in the 60s and 70s, and actually temperatures stay there as we go into Thursday night, and then as we go into the daytime on Friday, watch temperatures drop. We are going to be seeing temperatures drop into the 40s during Friday afternoon, and then these are your high school football kickoff temperatures on Friday evening. Temperatures will be in the 40s. Here's your extended forecast. You can see temperatures are going to be 60s and 70s tomorrow, falling on off as we go on the Friday, and then Saturday morning, we're looking for frost away from the Great Lakes. Now, one more thing here I want to show you. We are looking at gale conditions to kick up as we go into Thursday evening and into Thursday night. So please, small craft, stay in safe harbor during this time. Thanks for logging on to our WJMN Local 3 webpage.